You've got questions. Well, we have the man to answer those questions. Jeffrey Levine from Buckingham. Jeffrey, welcome back to another episode of Ask the Hammer. Good to see you again, Bob. Good to see you. Um, here's my question from a reader. It goes like this. I sold my investment property in 2023, and I will have a capital gain of $150,000, which will put me and my spouse above the threshold of $218,000 eligibility for a Roth IRA. Does selling of an investment property consider is selling an investment property considered an income eligibility? I already started investing in a Roth IRA. What needs to be done? Your help is greatly appreciated. Mm, so this is a, a classic example of where a contribution has been made during the year. And now, because of some unexpected good news in this particular case, may not be eligible. And in fact, uh, based on the information shared in this question, it is not eligible. So Roth IRAs, unlike Roth 401ks or Roth 403bs, so plan Roth accounts, there's no income limit. You can make uh, $100 million a year. And if you want to put money into a Roth 401k or Roth 403b offered by your employer, you're fine doing that. But Roth IRAs, despite their lower limits on contributions, have a maximum income limit, and that changes per year. But uh, you know, figure somewhere around two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars right now for married couples filing a joint return. So if you're over that, you're ineligible to put money into a Roth IRA. Now the question becomes: When we say if you're over this income level, what do we mean? Because income can be defined as many different ways. For instance, there's gross income, there's adjusted gross income, there's taxable income. Uh, in this particular case, it's actually none of those. It's a fourth option. It is modified adjusted gross income, or said differently, it's adjusted gross income that has been further adjusted. Uh, now, in this particular instance, adjusted gross income, or modified adjusted gross income, I should say, does include capital gain income. In other words, it is not excluded. The fact that it's taxed at a lower rate right? Long-term capital gains get preferential tax treatment. That has no impact on the fact that it is still income. So yes, selling any sort of appreciated property or appreciated stock or anything where there's a capital gain that is created can impact your ability to contribute to a Roth IRA. Now, having said that, in this particular case, the contribution has already been made. So part two of this question was, what do I do? Well, you got two choices. One is you can remove that contribution for 2023 by October 15th of 2024, along with any earnings that are attributable to that and get out of the penalty. There will be no penalty whatsoever. So remove the excess amount and any earnings associated with it by October 15th of 2024, no penalty, no problem. If you don't do that, the other option is you can recharacterize the contribution to a traditional IRA contribution. So that can still be done. You can take the Roth IRA and move that contribution along with any earnings back to a traditional IRA instead of simply removing it. All right. And if they do the latter, move it to a traditional, it may either be what deductible or non-deductible depending on their income. That's right. Well, uh, it would in this particular case, we know their income is high enough that it's not going to depend on their income. It'll depend upon whether the uh, either of the taxpayer, the husband or the wife in this particular case, had an active participation in, in an employer sponsored plan during the year. Now, they may very well, if they had that participation, be non deductible. But if there's no other IRA money, maybe there's an opportunity for a backdoor Roth move here or, you know, so it's not necessarily a bad thing just because it's non-deductible. And of course, even if it is non-deductible and has to stay in the uh, traditional IRA, the earnings still will grow tax deferred. So may still be an appropriate play. Uh, but I would also point out here that a lot of times people say, wait, I thought I can't do that anymore. You just, you, you said I can recharacterize my Roth to a traditional. Well, the difference is uh, back as part of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act in 2018, effective that year, I should say, there was no more Roth IRA recharacterizations of conversions. But that same rule doesn't apply to contributions. And it's precisely for the reason that we're talking about here. Sometimes, with the best of intentions, people make Roth contributions to an IRA early in the year, thinking they'll be under the income limits. They later find out that they're not, and they need a mechanism to sort of unwind that. The recharacterization is one way, removing it as an excess contribution by October 15th of 2024 would be the other way. In either case, right, so I've got one more, one more crazy scenario for you, possibly an out for this reader, which is 
if he was an entrepreneur and had a solo Roth 401k, might be able to get around some of that? Uh, in some respects, yes, and in some respects, no. So at the end of the day, they might still be able to get the same money into the Roth IRA or a Roth style account, I should say. But the Roth IRA is not the same as a Roth 401k, right? There's still different accounts organized separately. So the money would first have to come out of a Roth IRA, still either as a recharacterization or a removal of an excess contribution. And then there, assuming there was a Roth 401k available, then it could go back into that account uh, potentially. But in most instances, we're talking about making sure that Roth election is made, the salary deferral by the end of 2023 to count for 2023. So time, of course, would be of the essence. Yeah. Uh, one more question answered, and I, for one, hope people elect to send more questions to us. Me too. And you can do so by giving us a shout. Email us at askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. Again, that's askthehammer at buckinghamgroup.com. And Bob and I look forward to seeing your questions in our inbox real soon. Mm -hmm.